Like the biceps, the long head of the triceps passes through both the elbow and the shoulder joint. Therefore, it enters what's called active insufficiency when you try to perform elbow extension and your arm is not above your head. The further away your arm is from being above your head, the more shortened the long head is going to be at the shoulder joint. So when you do an exercise like a press down or a kickback when your arms are beside your body, the long head of the tricep is closest to its mid-range in length or its capacity to produce force is going to be at its highest. When you try to perform elbow extension, what you're asking that muscle to do is enter a shorter and shorter relative length position. Its capacity to produce force is going to decline more and more as you try to do so. This is why exercises like press downs and kickbacks preferentially recruit the lateral head and the medial head of the tricep at the expense of the long head. This isn't to suggest that the long head isn't working, but rather its contribution will be limited due to what's called active insufficiency. The long head of the tricep will enter passive insufficiency when lengthened at the elbow joint but shortened at the shoulder joint. This is why exercises like press downs and kickbacks fail to stretch the long head of the tricep to the best of its ability. If you wanted to do that, an exercise or variation of one that would do that for you is any type of overhead extension. If you want to stretch the muscle to the best of its capacity, you got to lengthen it at every joint that it passes through. So an overhead extension, irrespective of whether you're using a barbell, a dumbbell, cables, places the long head of the tricep in a lengthened position at the shoulder joint as well as the elbow joint. All of this information should influence the way you do what you do and what you decide to include into your strategy depending on why the fuck you're training in the first place. Therefore, if you like it, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at. Subscribe to the channel and support me and I'll keep bringing you the best information that you're going to find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, lose fat, look better, perform better, all that fucking shit.